we're going to be building some software that is going to handle personal finance, personal budgeting software. Um, and why do we, why, why are we going to do that? We, we had several ideas that were thrown out in previous live streams. Um, but the main reason why we're going to do that is because, um, I need it. <laughs> I need better software for managing my budgets. Now that's not, that's not the main reason, but it is kind of a, a real reason why we're doing that. Because I, I have been using lots of different budget software over the years and quite frankly, none of them really work the way that I want them to work. Um, and maybe the way I want them to work isn't the way everybody else wants them to work. I admit that I'm probably, um, probably odd <laughs> and that's okay, but we're going to build a budget software. We're going to start, um, small and then we'll add to it over time and, and build something that I think could be very useful, but it's not just for me. Um, and I don't want to spend a lot of time on this, but as developers, we need to be we need to be careful to manage our finances well. Um, one of the downsides of this industry is that you do, there is a high likelihood that you're going to, at some point in your, in your journey, be without a job. And that's not because of, of you being it bad. It's not even because necessarily the company is a horrible company that you're working for that lets you go. It's, it's just a reality of the industry. Most devs stay at their position for less than two years at a time. Uh, and again, there's lots of factors for that. We won't go that into that this morning. If we want to talk about that more in a later live stream or, or video, I've talked about that in some other videos, but the reality is that your tenure at a specific position is often fairly short. And one of the things that we need to do as developers is make sure that we are taking it, uh, our finances in, into control and that we're making sure that we're, uh, that we're not, um, caught off guard when that happens. And so really this budgeting software is something that I think every developer should use once we've got it built. Um, either just personally, they pull it down from our GitHub repo. Uh, I don't know, maybe we'll, maybe we'll, we'll, we will make it an actual application that people can, can jump on. We'll see. That's not necessarily my goal, uh, with this project, but, but we'll see what happens. And, but I think we need, we need people to understand that you've got to control your finances, whether you are here in the United States or around the world, you've got to plan for those times where you are not going to have a job. And part of that really comes down to budgeting and sticking with your budget. And so what, what I want to do is I want us to provide a, a well-written, useful tool for other developers to be able to use to manage their budgets and, and finances. Eventually I've got, I've got lots of ideas and dreams of what we could add to this in the future, but, uh, but we'll see, <laughs> we'll see where we get over the next uh, few months. So, uh, so that's, that's why we're doing this. Uh, number one, <laughs> number two is that I see a, a lot of junior devs out there just kind of spinning their wheels, um, doing a lot of tutorials. Tutorials are not bad or wrong. Um, I actually have my most popular video was picked up by another YouTuber and reviewed. Uh, and so it has lots and lots of views, but, uh, but it's talking about how tutorials are bad. Um, they're not bad as long as you use them the right way. And unfortunately, most junior devs don't know how to use them the right way. And so what you end up doing is getting in the cycle of, of tutorial after tutorial after tutorial, tutorial, and it feels like you're making progress. It feels like you're, you're succeeding at doing something. But in the end, you're just kind of really doing the same thing over and over and over again. So a lot of devs are out there spinning the wheel, spinning their wheels, doing tutorials, um, but they're not really building real projects. And they're and they're all doing it siloed on their own, just watching a video, trying to follow along, or reading documentation, following along. And again, none of that's bad or wrong. Even as a senior developer, I do that. In fact, I've I've been doing that, learning some new stuff myself. So you have to do that stuff. But I you're not usually getting the uh, the experience that you really need to go from just learning to code to launching a successful career to where you could actually be hired and get into a, a, a role and work well within a team. And so um, that's the real impetus for all of this is I want you guys to know what it's like to work inside of a team. Now, it's not going to be exactly the same. Obviously, we're not, you know, in the same location. Uh, a lot of teams these, these days are remote, but there's not going to be the same type of deadlines. Uh, you're 
your livelihood is not going to depend on on how you do on this project. So obviously there's some uh, there's some big differences between the real world and this. But I want to try to get this as close as possible from an experience standpoint as we can so that um, <clears throat> so that you guys can kind of get that feel so that you can understand some of the, the requirements and some of the, the feedback that you would get on code and maybe pushback even as to uh, what you what you put up in your PR. So that's that's why we're doing this project. Um, it's not it's not a tutorial project. So I want to make that very clear. This is not going to be me developing a budget app and you guys watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is not going to be me uh, giving tutorials on how to use this program la programming language or this framework or things like that. We may talk about some things here and there, especially depending on the decisions decisions that we come to. It might be helpful to have some of these live streams be some very high level tutorials of tools or things like that that we want to use. Um, because we even do that sometimes in the dev uh, world as well. We'll do things like lunch and learns where during a uh, a lunchtime people will come and, and somebody will give a presentation about, you know, something new that we're, that we are using or that we might use or things like that. So, so we might take a few of these live streams to do that, but it's, this is not going to be a tutorial where you follow along as Dave codes, this budget software. We're not doing that. All right. There's lots of other channels out there that you can get uh, that type of content and that you can get that type of, um, uh, of training. And that's, that's not me. I, I could do it. There's no reason to reinvent the wheel, though. Um, so my goal is to manage this project with you guys and help you guys kind of take that role as the developer or the developers <laughs> and uh, and uh, move forward with it as if we are a team. All right. So I just want to make that clear here at the very beginning. This is not a tutorial series. I'm not going to be developing. Well, I might develop some code along the way, but I'm my goal is not to be uh showing you how to write code. My goal is to uh, is to show you what it's like to be a part of a team. Now, there will be times where we'll do live reviews of uh, pull requests. And so in that case, I might do some code writing to kind of show you how, how I would do things, stuff like that. But that's going to be very limited in this process, most likely, because again, that's not that's not the goal for what we're trying to do here.